A very good morning to our viewers all across the world. Welcome to your poetic insult on the weekend show. My name is Emeka Uzurumba. And this morning I have me a very lovely poet, Augustine Akon. Good morning, Augustine. Good morning, Mr. Emeka. It's nice having you here. Okay. He, um, he wrote this lovely book, The Horrors of a Happy People. And he's going to be reading a poem for us from the book titled The Cry of a Dying Nation. Um, please, can you read your piece for us? Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. The Cry of a Dying Nation. Bound in chains, confined into seclusion, dying silently for the crumbs. That is all I can have. With great respect for table manners, I paid deaf ears and blind eyes to the blazing sun. Whatever comes, I silently eat. I am hungry, I am at taste, and gently crest my tough waiting for the crumbs with my piercing glaze. Like stars, corruption hangs. Injustice dwell in every government office. What is the business of the university if graduates sleep at home all days? Filled with self-doubt for fears of losing the scrumptious meal, a man has to eat or he will die. My bleeding man, my bleeding nation. With a smile of loyalty, he crunches for the crumbs as he takes the bet and cheers for the unceremonial commander. To maintain food on the table, it is a survival of the fittest. A slum wrecked in scarcity, a rich nation dying of poverty. Okay, you're supposed to read, I'm Nigeria. I'm Nigeria. I am a Nigeria. I am the tallest man, richest among my peers. I have all it takes to build skyscrapers. I help others while at top. I have got the best of it all. I am endowed with natural and human resources, unlimited source, but I care for myself. I construct road and provide basic amenities to others, yet have none. I am that giant that stand tall with loyal followers. I am me. People respect me, yet jeer at my back the flies of the society, so hard to please. I derive my name from two great rivers, engulfed by wildlife. I am a little wild fire. I am tired, killing and kidnapping, bombing like some summering stars. I am depleted by corruption. I am swallowed whole, and now I have lost my footing amongst my peers. I am Nigeria. Oh, that's so lovely, Austin. Okay, just one question I have for you. I mean, this book, it talks about the horrors of a happy people. Why did you name your book The Horrors of a Happy People? Okay, this title, you know, Nigeria, we are in a situation where... They I, consider us as the happiest people. It's exactly. Yeah. So we are considered the happiest people on earth. But yet, we bottle all our emotions, all the troubles, all the crimes, all the pains we are going through. So I thought about something unique, something that can better explain who Nigerians are. We suffer smile in this horror. That is why the book was titled The Horrors of a Happy People. Thank you so much for coming Pranga Austin. Thank you. Can you much. tell us where we can get your books? Okay, my book is on Amazon and it's also on Sellers. And you can also get a hard copy from me or from the National Library. You can contact the National Library and you get the copy of the book. Okay, thank you so much thank for coming you very from much. And I really appreciate your voice. It is a pleasure having me here. Okay. Thank um, you. This is a very lovely book, The Horrors of a Happy People by Austin Akong. And it talks about Nigeria, basically. It talks about we as a people. I mean, why should we be suffering and smiling? Why should people be considered happy and be living in so much economic and social demise. I don't see why we should, you know, be in this spendthrift as a people. But I love the audience all across the world. I hope you have enjoyed watching your poetic on the Internet on the Weekend Show. I want to transit now to Didi, who's going to wrap up the show.